Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because today is part one of a three-part video series. Today we're dealing with a simple way to stop punches. How to stop the punch from three different options, three different ranges. So guys, let us not waste time, let's get started. Okay guys, technique number one. So for this scenario, we're gonna have the person attacking set us up with a jab, okay? There are many different ways you can deal with a jab. Today, we're gonna use a gum cell. We're gonna press against that hand that's coming towards us. Now the scenario that we're working with today consists of us not being completely ready to just charge in. So we're gonna keep our distance with the gum cell. Now, many times the person that's setting you up will use the jab to then maybe finish you off with a cross. So that's what we're gonna be dealing with. So first let me show you how you can just use the gum cell against the setup. So in this case, Brendan is launching the jab and I am just keeping my distance and just stepping back and using the gum cell. When you do that, don't forget to still guard your face in case the person is much faster than us. So we set up with the gum cell and wool cell. Okay, this time we're gonna have the person attack with the one, two. Now the first one, we are using it ourselves as a setup for the second movement. And the second movement, I'm just gonna use a double hand lap cell. Perfect, technique number two. This time we're dealing with an uppercut coming to the body, to the ribs, as a setup for a second hook coming towards the face. Now, when dealing with that, once again, we're just gonna step back to buy some distance. And we're gonna use a full gung cell. Now, when used correctly, you're gonna bust the other person's hand or wrist with your elbows, base of the forearm. So that's why when we drill this, we have the other person wear a focus smith, just so that hand is safe and we can still execute the technique with proper timing, precision, and explosiveness. Then the second arm will come towards the face and I'll use a park cell, park dart, to deal with that one. Excellent, technique number three. This time we're dealing against a haymaker. So what we're gonna do here, just like the previous ones, we're gonna fall into kind of like the mindset for us to train ourselves on how to deal with an attack like this and not being ready. Because you have to always think that, you know, this is street fighting. We're not always walking around with our hands up high, ready for a fight. So we need to be able to respond from a relaxed state, relaxed position, and then see how you can stop the attack. So today we're working on the swing back one cell against the haymaker, and then we can follow up with a one, two. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. There's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.